resident geek Cody Starkey is Ian Rockland there ready to party this morning. What's up, Code? That is senior geek correspondent. Thank you very much. Call me by my official title. Sorry. Okay, I need this. I need this Olivia I Zombie. I need this Lockjaw. Sure, I'll take Gigantor. Not a problem. I'm sorry, I'm just doing a little shopping while we're here in Ken's Collectibles and Comic Books. Uh, Ken, new location. You closed down for a little bit. You moved all this stuff. I can only imagine what it's like to move a comic book store, even though it's like almost across the street. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty intense. You never realize how much you have until you have to move. Yeah, it is. Okay, so you got the new location. You guys got a big party going on uh, this weekend. So it's Halloween theme, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. It's going to be uh, Halloween Comic Fest. And we give away a lot of free comics. You just come in, trick or treat. We're going to have a really nice uh, Halloween costume contest. Uh -huh. And we're going to have artists here for, uh, for all sorts of different books uh, signing. Oh, okay, cool, cool. Okay, so what was what was the thing that got you into comics? Everybody's got the thing. Me, it was uh, X Men. Uh, my uncle gave me like a whole box of old X Men. I started reading X Men, and I was like, wait a second, this isn't about you know just people punching each other. It was about you know social issues, and it was uh, you know it was about family and all that stuff. That was my gateway into the things. What was your gateway? It all started with the. Old 60s Spider-Man and uh -huh. Fantastic Four and Incredible Hulk and Avengers cartoons. And oh, then yeah. I just started reading comics. Of course, Star Wars really put me in gear with collecting the comic books. And I've been a fan ever since. Awesome, awesome. Okay, so I asked you to pull a couple of your favorites. I thought that it would be interesting to talk about. So what do you want to talk about first? What do we, what do we pull? Uh, Thrill Killer 62. Um, Dan Barrington, one of the artists that's going to be signing here, actually did this book. And my favorite, by the way. It's my favorite. <laughs> and it's actually the first appearance of Harley Quinn in the DCU, actually. What? Yeah, a lot of people think it's the, the Batman Harley Quinn special, but actually this was made years before that. And Dan's going to tell you the story, I think, about him writing it on a napkin about how that came about. Uh, we're running out of time, but tell people the new location, because I don't want them to get lost and go to the old location when they come out tomorrow for the big party. Yes, uh, 4804 Granite Road. Rockland, California. And Come on out, baby. Yep. What time? What time? Uh, we open at 11. Okay. At 11 o'clock. All right. Uh, before we get to uh, uh, the next thing, though, we'll tease here in a second. I'm doing a thing. Oh, grandma's recipes. If you have a grandma that's got a killer recipe for something, you want to share it with our viewers. And Cody, I'll come over. We'll make it together. We'll talk about grandma. All you need to do is email us goodday at kmaxtv.com. We hinted around the man. Dan Brereton, my favorite comic book artist, is here. He's going to talk a little bit about uh, Nocturnals and the story behind Harley Quinn. The first time you could have read it. It's coming up in just a second. Stick All right. around. Okay. It's a big deal because Dan doesn't leave the house before noon. It's a big <laughs> deal to get him out. So. <laughs> All right, Cody. See you in a bit. Well, a group of girls.